Good evening from New York. I'm Chris Hayes. Special Counsel Jack Smith has just turned over the first tranche of evidence in the classified documents case against Donald Trump. The ex-president's legal team now have access to discovery materials, including evidence obtained through subpoena and search warrants, transcripts of grand jury testimony in both Washington, D.C. and Florida, witness interviews conducted through last month, and excerpts of closed-circuit television footage. Also included are the grand jury testimony of witnesses who will testify, testify for the government at this case. Now, all of this is a routine part of the process following Trump's indictment earlier this month on 37 felony counts. And it underscores the surreal current state of affairs. Donald Trump is the ex-president of the United States. He is the current frontrunner for the Republican nomination. And he is a criminal defendant in a federal criminal case entitled to exactly the same amount of due process as all citizens under the Constitution. All of those things being true at once is a real test for our usual rhetoric about the rule of law. Because it's one thing to say in the abstract, no one is above the law. It is another to actually carry that out. And the task of carrying that out, of making it concrete, falls chiefly to Jack Smith. He is, by many accounts, an experienced independent force, as former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder told me on the night the news of the indictment first broke. I've known Jack Smith for a good number of years. He's a serious, sober-minded prosecutor uh, who is not going to be deterred by anything that Donald Trump throws at him. Most of the discussion around Jack Smith's experience is focused on his previous work at the Department of Justice, where he led the Public Integrity Unit that investigates officials accused of corruption. You may have also heard that he prosecuted war crimes at The Hague and seen these images. They're the ones we use, uh, where he is dressed in the customary black and purple robe. But you may not know, I really didn't until recently, is that Donald Trump is actually the second president that Jack Smith has indicted. Now, this story begins 25 years ago with the War of Independence in Kosovo. Following the breakup of the former Yugoslavia, a group of rebels known as the Kosovo Liberation Army fought for the freedom of their province from the Republic of Serbia. And it was a very bloody conflict. It ended only when NATO intervened by bombing targets in Serbia. In the years that followed, as you may know, right, the international legal community focused on the war crimes uh, from that era, and they mainly focused on the former Yugoslavian president Milosevic in Kosovo and throughout the Balkans. But in 2008, accusations of war crimes on the Kosovan side emerged in a tell-all book written by a Swiss prosecutor. She alleged the Kosovo Liberation Army, or the KLA, that was the rebels that were fighting, had also committed torture, that they had even harvested organs from Serbian prisoners. After the Council of Europe published evidence of some of those same claims in 2011, a special court was set up at The Hague specifically focused on those crimes. And seven years later, in 2018, Jack Smith arrived to take over what was called the Kosovo Specialist Prosecutor's Office. Now, by that time, when he arrived in 2018, the court's efforts had largely stalled. It was kind of a moribund investigation. I mean, at this point, it had been nearly two decades since the actual war and the war crimes had been committed. And crucially, the former leaders of that rebel army, the KLA, were now in charge of the newly independent country. One of them, Hashim Thachi, rose to become the prime minister and then the president. As one of Jack Smith's predecessors explained, the task at hand was like prosecuting Kosovo's equivalent of Benjamin Franklin and Alexander Hamilton. Quote, if you indict these people, you're saying the founding fathers of Kosovo have committed atrocities, and I'm ready to prove it in an independent court with independent judges and rules that apply to everyone. Another former head of the specialist prosecutor's office, Clint Williamson, explained that Smith focused on getting witnesses that had contributed to the process earlier to come on board again. And then Smith and his office focused on the chain of command. William says, quote, this is not unlike organized crime prosecutions. A mafia boss very rarely pulls the trigger himself. You have to develop the linkages between the trigger puller and the big boss who's giving the orders. Well, the work paid off. In June of 2020, in the midst of a global pandemic, when Smith's office announced that it was seeking an indictment against the then sitting president of the new nation, Kosovo, Hashim Thachi, 
and included 10 counts on various war crime charges, including nearly 100 murders and the torture of hundreds of victims. In fact, the announcement came while Thatcher himself was in midair flying to the United States for a meeting with none other than, yes, then President Donald Trump. The two men had met before in New York and in Paris, but these were to be formal talks at the White House meant to boost Trump's diplomatic bona fides. Now, a source told the Daily Beast, it now appears that prosecutors, with their announcement, were trying to stop Thatchy from using that meeting with Trump to pressure the United States to drop the case against him. After learning of the indictment, Thatchy did cancel the visit and return home to Kosovo. A little over four months later, after a judge confirmed the charges against him, Thatchy resigned from the presidency. He flew to The Hague, where he was taken into custody. The man who had been the sitting president of this new nation, a hero, a founding father. And Jack Smith continued methodically plugging away at his work, trying several of Thatchy's former allies in the KLA. Your Honors, this is a case about the conditions required for the fair administration of justice and attempts by the accused to block the path of justice for so many. This is a case about what is required to make rule of law a reality. Think of that line. Think of that line. This is a case about what is required to make the rule of law a reality. Now, even without Jack Smith, who, of course, has got a new job, Hashim Thachi's trial continues in The Hague. It's ongoing. He remains in detention. Of course, just like Donald Trump, the former president of Kosovo remains innocent until proven guilty. He is due process. We do not know the outcome of his trial or what it will be although the Kosovo Specialist Prosecutor's Office has since convicted three other people. And with Jack Smith back here in the U.S., it appears that Donald Trump is hoping that he can run out the clock, that he can delay long enough to successfully restore himself to the White House so that he can get rid of this whole thing, so that he can declare himself above the law. But given his very recent history, it seems pretty clear Jack Smith is committed to not letting that happen. 